If I were you, I'd take a couple of days off on general principle. Thank you. Bit of self-care. Hot bath and a nice clay mask. I'm over it. I've got too much work. Tough lad. Yeah, isn't he? Yeah, and get Jay to change those locks. I don't think I'll be there that long. I was having second thoughts about the place anyway, wasn't I? Well, you're having second thoughts about Sonny. Oh, don't lose a nice place like Holgate because of him. Who knows where he'll be in a few months? It's too big anyway, and Jay's already had the estate agents in. I don't think he'll hold on to it for long. I'd buy it myself if I could. Make sure he takes care of himself, will you? I'll try. So it's focused my mind a bit. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Besides, I don't like the idea of you being alone there, ever. Me? Yeah, it feels isolated. Right, I gotta go. I'll see you later, yeah? Stop worrying. Jimmy, have you got a sack? So, how was your day? My day? Hmm. Yeah, any interesting uh, animals? Well, they're all interesting if you're a vet. All animals interesting, that's uh, interesting. Are you OK? Great. Can't imagine how I'd be holding up if I'd had a week like you or so. Don't think I'd be uh, cruising through it. Oh, OK, so she's had a word. Who? Belle, I'm not stupid. Well, she may have said something, but she's worried about you. Like, you'd have to be a machine not to let her get you at all. Look at Nicola. She comes across as, like, you know, the Terminator. But she turned into a proper insomniac after she was attacked. Mm. And yet here I am, after a refreshing night's sleep. Pity about Holgate. Yeah, well, moving out of Holgate was always the plan. It was never permanent. Makes me a bit sad, though. Hmm. Actually, it's not just about that. I've got some good news. Me and Belle, we're getting a place of our own. Me? Don't say anything. We're still keeping it a bit of a secret. I'm happy for you. 